everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And always go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos of our life, our animals, and everything in between. So, uh, we're not really doing a rat, well, we're kind of doing a rat video today. It's a little different because they're not alive. Um, as I kind of said in some of our other videos, uh, when we moved, we had to get rid of a lot of our rat colony and we're still in the process of re-establishing our rat colony. So I had brought quite a few months, uh, you know, of a supply of frozen rodents to feed our snake collection. However, we kind of ran out and it's been a couple weeks and I was trying to see if our rat colony would re-establish. Um, we do have a steady, we have a flow again, but it's still not a steady, enough flow to feed our entire collection. So I went ahead and made our very first purchase from Rodent Pro. Um, there's another gentleman that lives up here from Reptile Barn who does large orders through uh, Rodent Pro and has had very good success with it. And so I went ahead and placed a large order. Now, as you can imagine, Rodent Pro is down in the lower 48. So to get them shipped all the way up here, I pretty much matched what I spent in shipping. So as much as I spent on rats, that's what I paid in shipping. So it's kind of a small fortune. I hope I don't have to do it again. Um, I hope this is kind of a one-time thing, but I wanted to share it on the channel. So that way, if there's anybody out there who maybe would like to use Rodent Pro, it's kind of a review, show you guys how everything is packaged before I even open it. Open it. UPS just dropped it off. Um, it is currently 10 degrees outside at my location here in Alaska. So uh, these things shouldn't be thawed or anything like that. Um, they are supposed to come packaged with some kind of dry ice or some kind of ice. I think it's dry ice. Yeah, it says on the package dries um, to keep them frozen during the shipping process. Like I said, we live up here in Alaska where it's currently 10 degrees, so I wasn't really worried about any kind of thawing during the shipping process. But we're going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to show you guys how much we purchased. This is to hopefully get us through about two months, maybe. I don't think it'll quite get us through three months. But this is about a two-month supply for us with our current reptile collection. That's including snakes and lizards. Um, we did purchase something for our lizards, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. But yeah, I'm hoping this is a one-time purchase. So um, let's open these up and see what's inside. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this first box. These are huge staples in here to keep them closed. Let's see if I can do this with just... There we go. Aha. Yeah, those things would hurt. Okay, box number one, let's get some scissors, looks like they did a pretty good job at packaging so far, this is the, all the insulation to keep it cold inside and it is getting colder the closer I get to inside so that is a very good sign. All right, got a bag of goodies in here. All right, so I'm kind of short, so trying to get this camera propped up is proving to be difficult. Um, but this is how everything is in there. Let's see if we can get a little bit better view. They've kind of just stuffed the sides and then we've got some goodies down in the middle. We'll see what's in this bag in just a second. But they are all stuffed in there. All right, so I'm just gonna pull stuff out and go ahead and stick it in on here on the counter and then we'll go ahead and show everything that we purchased because we got quite a lot. All right, so now that I got it all emptied, here is the bag and I quickly realized because the bag tore that this mystery bag is the bag of dry ice. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this back in there. And because obviously that's going to need to get disposed of. So let's go ahead and open. We got falling rats. Let's go ahead and open up box number two. All right. So in the second box, uh, they just put the dry ice straight in there. It's not any in any kind of bag. So uh, don't ever touch dry ice with your hands. It hurts really bad. Uh, so we're going to get something to pick that up. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and stick this dry ice back in that other bag. Get these out of here. Okay, so if I can remember correctly, we got 150 fuzzies, 150 weans, 120 smalls, 40 mediums, and we also got 25 small quail to try with our monitor lizards. So this should be fun and exciting. This is gonna be a new treat for them. And we are gonna be starting to raise our own quail at our new property in Alaska. Here comes springtime. All right, so now that I got it all sorted out, it's fuzzies and pups, not weans. I didn't get any weans. I got pups. These are both smalls. This is mediums. And then our one bag of quail. Now the small quail comes in a 25 count. They only had one available. I actually wanted to get two or three of those, but we were only able to get one. Uh, I got 40 of the medium. They come 10 per bag, and this is going to be for our medium size to large size breeding females. Um, these two stacks, I got six of the 20 count smalls rats, and these are going to be for a lot of our smaller females and our males. Now, we also got quite a few pups. These are the 150 pups. They come 25 per bag. And these are gonna be for our hatching rat and all of our babies and some of the babies we will be hatching soon. These are all fuzzies. They also come 25 per bag. And we also got 150 of these. Now, the only thing that I'm seeing out of everything that I don't really care for is on these fuzzies. They have quite a bit of freezer burn on them. There's like frozen moisture in there and a few of them do have freezer burn, which I don't really care for. So I'm kind of interested to see what these look like after I thaw them out. So now that we've seen everything we, we got, I'm actually gonna put everything away and we're gonna come back to this video in just a few seconds and I'm actually going to thaw some of these and we're going to feed our reptiles or feed some of our snakes. I feed my snakes in the evening time so that's why we're going to have kind of a lapse and we're going to come back to this. Well for me it's going to be a few hours, for you guys it's going to be a few seconds. All right so we are back for feeding time and now we're going to go ahead and feed our hatchling rack tonight and then we're gonna feed Freedom Breeder Rack tomorrow. It's all gonna be in the same video, but I brought my handy dandy helper. <laughs> so he is gonna be feeding tonight and I'm gonna film and watch. You ready? All right, let's get to it. Obviously we're not gonna show feeding every single animal because um, this would be a really long video trying to fit a hundred animals into the single video, but we're gonna show some. <laughs> get out of here. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we got our bowl of rats. So far looking good from Rodent Pro. Look like very healthy rats, so no complaints there. So let's see if the snakes like it. <laughs> Daddy likey. I can't see, where's it at? Um, back there somewhere. Can't see, what's going on? Absolutely nothing, cause you're not by the head. Head's in the back. Oh. Where? Keep going. Right there? Right there. I'm gonna go for it right now, just hold still. Did you jump? Huh? You jumped. I sure did. <laughs> it tugged on the tongs. Right in front. I think they like them. Play. Ooh, yum. Oh, hello. Yeah, take that. Oop. Food. Reorganize. Oh. 
Okay, who's got the freaking background music going? <laughs> it's not feeding music. To the water bowl. Mm -hmm. God, why do they gotta be so tense? It's like they're <laughs> squeezing the life out of it or something. Just gotta get it under that lip. That edge is killer. It is. Caught my knuckles a few times on it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Watch those fingers. Because <laughs> yeah. these snakes are not shy when it comes to that crap. Bloop. Oh, hello. Can, can you, like, get the wetness in, in there for me? Appreciate that. Well, hello. Went from a, an assist feed to eats like crazy. Yeah. This mama is going to make lots of babies for us. Why, you decide you're keeping that one, Daddy? I thought we were. Why, does somebody want it? <laughs> I was like, else I need to put a whole back tag on that. Well, if they don't sell, they're going to be proven breeders. <laughs> and then it's going to cost more. Watch out for that one. That one eats. Yes. See? Hello. <laughs> Food, not daddy. Yeah, see? 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 There you go. Baby, if it's quite all right. Maybe I should just film everyone because I have a feeling you don't care if you can get tagged. How are they going to bite me? My fingers are on hey, the bottom of the bed. Look at that bald head. <laughs> so what happens when you get old and fat? <laughs> nice. Your hair's like, I can't hold on. I do have something for you. Yeah, be patient with this one. She sometimes gets a little finicky. Thank God she's a whole back. You missed, dummy. She is thick. I had to go back and forth with rats with her for a while. Rats, between rats and mice, I mean. Right. Because she was being a a poop face with eating. Yeah, next hold back. That one eats. <laughs> yes, I know daddy is scrum diddly umptious, but you stay away from daddy. Hey now. There you go. Num nums. Thank you. You know, I said I wasn't going to film feeding every single one, and I think we are filming every single no, one. No, we've skipped one. We skipped one or two. Oh, yeah, it's one of these ferocious ones. Here, ferocious. Oh, good job. Way to make that easy. How come they can't all do that? Well, I got bit by this snake last time, and yeah. I wasn't even feeding. Uh, Daddy opened up the bin, and do you here want, she came. Do you want the snake hook? No. Oh, well, it's for rookies. Anyways. And people who learn from their mistakes. Anyways. Well, she got crap all in her water already. She wasn't hungry. <laughs> you gotta be careful with these. They will let go and, and come clean, after you. Clean out her water while she's occupied. Yeah, she will let go. Sorry, I touched you, I know, but daddy wants this back here where it'll dry. And they try to push, they will use their bodies to push their prey up against. Anything and everything? Yep, the cave walls and whatever, because they do a lot of other snakes and rodents and they get in their burrows and they don't necessarily constrict. 
they do that crap. They'll take their body and push them up against the side. I wasn't looking at you. You want to, demo oh, you want to demonstrate again? Take their body and push them up against the side to <laughs> incapacitate them. So you like all of our kids' school stuff. We just have stuff thrown everywhere while we're trying to still move in. We're going to hey. still be moving in a year from now. That's what happens when you have to build half this. Did he knock over? He got crap in his water, too. He missed. Yeah, you missed it, dummy. He's like, ah, oh, got it. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> oh my, thank God it wasn't alive. It would have eaten you, dude. Okay, now we're going to start with these ones. We had one pup left. Oh, look, you're so pretty. Stunning. So now we're going to go get some fuzzies to feed the rest. You sure these ones are small? Yep, those are fuzzies. Fuzzies aren't that much smaller. They look grunt like other rats. All right, back to the rack. Well, hello, you. You missed. That one needs more practice. Mm hmm. <laughs> dumb, dumb. <laughs> I'm used to feed the bigger snakes. I know. These <laughs> ones are still newbies. It's like, give it to me. <laughs> Those ones are newbies. <laughs> Poor snake. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Uh, four, six, and seven are finicky, so just mindful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, finicky. Mm -hmm. We've come a long way. Another water baby. Yeah, but they're easy when they're this small. Yeah, to kind of maneuver around because obviously they fit in that tub. And they're not as strong. Yeah. I have sat here for almost five minutes once and got a baby to eat. All right, so that baby did eat. Sometimes you just have to wait a really long time and just slow movements. She waiting. I definitely know that one will let go and come after I know. you. <laughs> I've had that happen before. She's mean. This one? Maridel likes Freaking sweetheart. Where is she? Where's her head? I don't right, oh, right there. Hello. Yes, it's that time. But it's right here. She's like, thank you. Come back next week. And then we got Miss Dolly over here in her own big old tub. And she's waiting. <laughs> she's like, oh, what is that? Yes, thank you. She's like, that is num dums. Thank you very much. How beautiful you are. We need more of those. But we need we need cages for them. I know. They need to be seen. They are freaking awesome. He's like, that's mine. He's like, okay, snack done. Huh, I know. He's like, where's the rest? I got them num -dums. Oh, yeah, what is that? She's like, I don't know. Is that num -dums? Yeah, you, you got the middle of it. That wasn't fast enough. Yeah, it's definitely small enough. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's gone.
try to get them up there. I got these cheeseburgers, man. What's that? So I don't know what that is. That's like chicken with feathers on it. Yeah, just make them coming off. He's like, that's my love, you sucker. Him to be up top, but then he rubs his nose on the tile. I know it's okay, and the edge. And okay, we found the head, and there it goes. Wow. <laughs> The foot stuck. He's <laughs> like, darn it, foot. I got something in my teeth. Did you get it? Yeah. Was that nummy? There you go, big dummy. How was that? You think you got more? He's like, that was nummy, nummy. I know, we could feed you a lot of those. Those are real good for you, and they're not bad at all. Oh, she's ready. And like that. She is ferocious, Jesus. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's video. Final thoughts on Rodent Pro. You know what? If I absolutely had to, I would probably order for them again. However, the one thing that I really did not like, as I said in the beginning of the video, was the freezer burn on some of the smaller rats that I got, like the fuzzies. Um, the other thing that I noticed while we were feeding is a lot of them were already in rigor mortis. If you don't know what rigor mortis is, it's when the body goes through its process after it has died and it starts to stiffen up, which means that a lot of these rats... Um, they were euthanized and then they sat out for a while. So that is something that I didn't really care for. Um, but other than that, it seemed like the rats were healthy. They, I didn't see anything wrong with them. So I can honestly say probably, you know, if you were to go out of 10, I'd probably say a seven for Rodent Pro. Um, just because of, there was just a few things I didn't care for. You know, as someone who raises their own rats, euthanizes their own rats, you know, I have a particular way that I like to do things and I, I like to freeze and euthanize and all those things. So that was just kind of on my personal perspective. Um, other than that, shipping was great. Customer service was great. So overall, not a terrible experience. So that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing today's video and we will see you in the next one. It's snowing outside. It's absolutely beautiful, which is why I'm ending the video out here. So again, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.